Howdy, Boss and Patty here. And um, Yevers, I'm back at the table. I have the whimsical teacup that I painted yesterday. Has the little house inside the teacup. If you missed that, I'll link it below. And I'm going to turn this into a page into my Alice in Wonderland, Four Sisters Cafe, Tea Tuesday, Mad Hatter's Tea Party, Little Golden Book Journal. What a mouthful, right? <laughs> well, I need to punch some holes in here, but before I do that, I was thinking of putting some paper on the back. And now I have this pack of Graphic 45. It's pretty old. I got it at the flea market used, but it has some really nice papers in here. And I'm trying to pick out something to do, you know, the back of here. Should I make pockets? Should I just put the pictures on here? Oh, I took a few minutes out uh, to print out some pictures and I wound up printing out like five pictures. So these are not very big pages and I do want to do some writing. So I might have to turn this into a couple page spread. So I don't know how long this is going to take me, but I decided, well, I'll just get started and see how far I get. So why don't you come on along? I'm doing a little experiment today. Yes, I'm going to try to record some of this uh, journaling sesh with my iPhone instead of my camera. I thought if I brought you in a little bit closer, it would be a little bit clearer. But I'm not sure how this is going to work. If you would like to provide some constructive criticism in the comments below, feel welcome to do that. I might have a smaller space. But for today, it's, it's just an experiment for today. Let's see how it goes. Yes, I've just spent so much time looking for pictures and printing them out and going through this Botanical Tea Graphic 45 and setting up the iPhone right there that I've used just about all my journaling time today. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I like this teapot. But if I put it on the back... I don't want to have to cover it up unless I put that there and then put a little tucker pocket or something. Oh, I can't even get that whole thing on there, can I? No. So I put it like that. I could make the whole page a giant pocket and then make journaling cards with all those pictures to put inside. Ooh, okay. See, if you don't have any ideas and you feel frustrated and just don't know where to start, just, just grab something. <laughs> just grab something and move it around and ideas will come to you. Yes, they will. Ideas will come to you. So... Yes, I think I think this might work. Am I in the shot? Yes. Okay, we're doing good. I have to practice here. So that's about the middle right there. Okay. Just wave your hand if I go off center because, like I said, I haven't done this. Oh, I did this the other day. That's right. I set up this camera when I brought you in closer when I was working on something the other day. And yeah, it seemed to me to come out very clear. You can see a lot of the detail. So I was like, ooh, let me try that again. Ooh, maybe I can sew this on. Oh, I have to be careful though because I have to punch holes because this is ring bound. That's one thing that's nice about working in the ring bound because you can do the page and then punch holes and stick it in. 
I think right on this pink line. Yeah, right there. So this is the front and this will be the back, which way do we want it to go? Probably this way. And if I sew right along the edge, and then I have to punch holes, and then I'll make some journaling cards. Okay, this might work out. I've got to reach over here for my circle punch. Okay, I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna eyeball it. Right there. <laughs> okay. I am gonna take this over to the sewing machine and stitch it very close to the edge and then punch the holes in. And then we'll work on some journaling cards. I love this one. Look at the fern on the back. But there's a whole bunch of them, the hummingbirds. All right. See, this is why I'm getting nowhere today. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to use this, this page as a template to cut my holes. And you can see I just stitched around on the three sides. It's gonna go in this way. And then I'll put the journaling cards in there. I've got the teapot, I've got it all fit in. Now, hopefully this is not going to be on the stitching. No, it looks good. Okay. <laughs> oh, the other page is taller. That's okay. We'll line them up at the bottom. Make sure I got it going the right way. I'm going to use my cropo dial because it's stronger and I've got to go through a couple layers here. Sometimes those little pieces of paper get stuck in there. Now, if you don't sew, just glue. And since the journal is open, I could just go ahead and pop this right in here because this part is done. And I just have to be working on the journal cards. Did I do this right? Did I forget a hole? Hmm. What did I do there? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I got to punch a hole. There it is. <laughs> I see it. It's way down here. All right. No problem. All right. Let's try this. Try this again. Oh, and I didn't punch the top one. Duh. I put a lot of rings in this journal. Some people like a lot of rings because it makes the journal less wobbly. But I like a lot of rings in this journal because I made the journal pages all different shapes and sizes. And this way I would have a couple of rings to catch each shape or size. And I might have to take a couple of rags off the rag ties off as this gets fatter. <laughs> and that was thin. I put a lot of rags on there. But there we go. Okay. Possum perfect. All right. There we go. It's a little stiff, but it'll work in. Okay. That'll be just fine, very colorful. And now I just need to do a couple journaling cards. And what I'm going to do is, isn't this paper gorgeous? Look at the ferns on here. Looks like a Christmas fern. 
sort of. <laughs> Birds. Okay. I'm going to move these out of the way because they're distracting me because they're so gorgeous. There's some different cut aparts. These are kind of small. Let's see how these fit in here. Oh, these will be perfect, right? Get that upside down. I might cut these down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, I might cut these down. Let's see. I could go to this blue line. It's going to trim this off. Let's see if I like this better. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, that works. That works. So actually, I have five pictures. Should I do five cards, one for each picture, and then talk about it? I think I will. I think I'll do that. Oh, I got to cut off part of that fern. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut five of these cards and do some journaling. All right, here's my five journaling cards. On the first card, I decided to put the picture on the side I'm going to write on because there were some words up here that said thinking of you. So I thought, well, I'll just cover that up with the picture. I wrote May 11th, 2024. Four sisters go to a Victorian tea. Wallingford, Connecticut, the Franklin and Harriet Johnson Mansion and Silver Museum, which was built in 1866. And because it's a silver museum, there's a lot of silver industry in this area back in the day. And they have this giant silver spoon. And we all had to have our picture taken with the giant silver spoon. <laughs> so that's the second one. And the third one is the sister who had the penny under her cup and she's got a scone on her plate there. Now, the one with the penny under the cup was supposed to get their tea leaf reading done, but she decided to let the other sister have it done. So here's the other sister out on the porch of the mansion getting her tea leaf reading done and... Um, they also pulled the tarot card, I think, at the end, too. That was very interesting. I, I wrote over here. I used this. I like this with the teacup. I thought that would be appropriate for the tea leaf reading. That was fun. I recorded the whole thing and sent it to her so she can refer back to it. And here's the fourth sister, Sister D, showing the flowers on the table and how fancy it was. And let's see, the sandwiches on the tear tray and flowers on the table. Oh, and this sister happened to know the uh, two ladies who are serving and also doing the readings and the talk about the Victorian tea. And they also provided little tea samples on the table. Now, this is Earl Grey tea, and it's from... Bones and Botanicals Herbal Tea Shop and Craft Cafe. This is in Wallingford. This is their business card. It was around the tea, but I thought that's got to go in the journal, right? Okay, so I'm going to put that in the journal. Oh, you know what I could do? I can tie it on the outside, can't I? Okay, I've got an idea now. So now all I have to do is pop all these cards right in the pocket. like so got five of them here <laughs> one for each sister and one with all of us together and that's a big pocket look how nicely they all fit right in there all right so there's my whimsical teacup and my pocket with the journaling cards and i can just take this 
and add it to the outside. What do I think that's going to get? You think that'll get wrecked on the outside? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, I have a lot of ties on there that I have to do something with. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. All right. You know what I'm going to do? Just for right now, I'm going to stick it in the pocket. But I'm going to find a place for this. I'm going to put that in there for now. But I might put that on another page. I can make it a dangly on another page. All right, that's done. Oh, I do have to come back. I got to print out more pictures for this page. Well, maybe by then I'll think about what to do with that tag. <laughs> well, that project is in the books for now. Oh, I have to show you something that I got. Look at this from Kara Koala. Now, did you watch my important journal for children and adults about Kara Koala and her story and her journal about journaling about your feelings? Well, look what Kara Koala sent me. She drew me my very own possum, Patty. Oh, you know what journal this is going to go in, right? <laughs> and inside, she sent me some book plates to put into those books. Possum Patty, keep journaling as always, Kara. I think they all say, oh, may you never lose your sense of adventure as always, Kara. You are special. Oh, she made them all different. And thank you for your support as always, Kara. Okay, so these will go into the books and then this and the envelope are going to go into the possum journal. Where's that? The awesome possum journal. And we also have some things sitting here that are ready to go in too. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Let me put these in here. Well, maybe I'll leave the possum journal on the table as a crumb to do some more journaling in there. And these I'll put into the books. I can't wait to get this video edited and uploaded because I want to see how it came out recording it with my phone over here. I recorded it, I think, on 08 and some of them on 05. So I want to see the difference between the two. Like I said, today was just a little experiment. I'm just playing around with things here, but I did get a page done and I've got some crumbs for some more journaling. So thanks for coming along today. Happy junk journaling. Bye-bye. When in doubt, play dead. Life advice from an unexpected source. On growth, possums, like alligators, experience indeterminate growth. Their bodies keep growing for as long as they're alive. Why stop when you can keep getting better with time? It's okay to be a late bloomer. When the time is right, you'll blossom. <laughs>